Hi dear students, this is B.S. Academy, Grade 10 Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss about virtual image and real image. What is mean by virtual image and what is mean by real image? What is the difference between virtual and real image? Okay, right. See, first of all, we discuss about the virtual image. See, the definition for virtual image is image that cannot be obtained on the screen is called virtual image okay image that cannot be obtained on the screen is called virtual image see for example if you place a plane mirror like this and when the object is placed like this when for example any one of the object okay consider any object for example tree consider the tree okay right so what will happen the rays from the tree will falls on the plane mirror like this and after it falls on the plane mirror it get reflected back right so when it is reflecting back if you place a screen in front of the plane mirror if you place a screen in front of the plane mirror this tree the image of this tree should be obtained on the screen okay so if it is obtained on the screen then it is called as real image but in case of the plane mirror the image will not be obtained on the screen so that type of image which cannot be obtained on the screen we cannot able to see the image of this tree on the screen in case of plane mirror okay so that type of images which cannot be obtained on the screen is called as virtual image so that's why in the previous topic we told that the nature of the play image formed by the plane mirror is a virtual image okay so it means it cannot be obtained on the screen so that's why we can say the definition as image that cannot be obtained on the screen is called virtual image okay right see real image the next one is real image image that can be obtained on the screen is called as real image image that can be obtained on the screen is called as real image okay so for example you consider the mirror like this this is a concave mirror which we are going to study in the next topic so now here just imagine the concave mirror is placed like this and the object is placed in front of the mirror the object is placed okay so what will happen the image will be up the image falls on the mirror and then it will reflected back okay so when it is reflecting back if you place the screen in front of the mirror then this image of the object will be obtained over here like this image will be obtained on the screen so we can able to see the image on the screen okay so that type of image which obtained on the screen is called as real image so we can conclude the image that can be obtained on the screen is called as real image and the image that cannot be obtained on the screen is called as virtual image is it clear students right so it will not be obtained on the screen here it will be obtained on the screen okay so that is the definition of virtual image and real image so that will be the difference between the virtual image and real image also so it will be obtained it will it 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 will be obtained and this will not be obtained on the screen okay right see the next thing is a spherical mirror what do you mean by spherical mirror see uh, previously we discussed about a plane mirror we know about a plane mirror and we studied about the properties of the plane mirror all those things right so now we are going to see what is spherical mirror so see there is some relation for the sphere because the name itself it is represented as spherical mirror so see the definition for the spherical mirror mirrors whose reflecting surfaces are the part of the surface of your sphere or called the spherical mirror first of all we know the basic information about the mirror itself is it not so one side should be polished then other side should be faded then only it will act, it will act as the mirror right so plane mirror we already know now spherical mirror see the reflecting surface of the mirror it should be the part of the surface of the sphere so it is called as the spherical mirror okay 
see in our book it is given as the activity 10.1 right so according to that activity 10.1 see consider the spoon okay consider a polished spoon like this the inner part of the spoon that is this inner part of the spoon it will be bent inwards okay so this is the reflecting surface okay this is the reflecting surface and this reflecting surface will be the part of the sphere so you imagine that this is the part of the sphere it means it will complete the sphere like this okay the sphere will be like this so this reflecting surface will act as a part of the sphere right so this is inner part of the spoon okay this will act as the concave surface this is this will act as the concave mirror see the other side of the spoon that is back side of the spoon see this is curved outside this is curved outside outwards so this part will act as the convex mirror okay this will act as the convex mirror so see this is also the polished surface this is the reflecting surface in case of the convex mirror and this reflecting surface will act as the uh, part of the sphere okay so whatever may be whatever may be either it will be concave or convex this two surfaces will act as the part of the sphere see that is what the definition mirrors whose reflecting surfaces whose reflecting surfaces are the part of the surface of the sphere that's why it is called as what spherical mirror okay see now in our book the spherical there are two types of spherical mirror given in our book that is concave mirror and convex mirror see the best example for the concave mirror is the inner part of the spoon this will act as the concave mirror so we can able to see see the part of the concave mirror that is the inner part of the spoon is the concave it will act as the concave mirror see this will be the side view of the spoon so same way you imagine the side view of the concave mirror okay you can imagine the side view of the concave mirror like this right so we can able to draw the diagram for concave mirror see this is the reflecting surface of the concave mirror and it is curved inwards it is curved inwards so if the mirror is curved inwards then it is called as concave mirror and if the mirror is curved outwards if the mirror is curved outwards then it is called as convex mirror right so this is the position of the concave mirror side view of the concave mirror which is given in our book and this is the position of the convex mirror that is side view of the convex mirror which is given in our book okay so while we are considering this as the concave mirror that is this inner part as the concave mirror the other surface will be faded okay in case of convex mirror if this is the reflecting surface then other part will be faded this will be faded right so see we can draw the diagram for the concave mirror like this and the convex mirror like this okay see now let us draw the diagram for concave mirror it is curved inwards right it curved inwards and this is the polished surface of the concave mirror so i, I told you, you know the other part will be faded this is the outer surface that is faded so this is the side view of the concave mirror and convex mirror convex mirror how it will be it, it curved outwards so it curved outwards like this and this is the reflecting surface of the convex mirror whereas the other part that is the outer surface it means the other surface of the convex mirror is faded one because we already know the condition for the mirror one surface should be polished then other surface should be faded then only it will act as the mirror okay so if it is curved inwards then it is called as concave mirror if it is curved outwards then it is called as convex mirror is it clear about these topic students see virtual image the image that can be obtained on the screen is called as real image the image that cannot be obtained on the screen is called as virtual image and the mirror 
whose reflecting surfaces or the part of the surface of the sphere are called spherical mirrors and there are two types of spherical mirrors explained in our cbsc book that is concave mirror and convex mirror concave mirror side view of the concave mirror we have to draw like this so this is polished and this is faded surface and convex mirror should be uh, curved outwards that is this is polished surface and this will be the faded part of the convex mirror this you can clearly understand by considering the spoon you can de do it in your home itself okay try this students thank you see you in the next video